Hello, I'm Delma Tronson from the Australian Missionary News and today I have with me Susan Furman who is a netballer and she has represented Western Australia and she is in the Australian squad and I'd just like to know um, something about your growing up years. My growing up years, I grew up originally from New South Wales, I was born in Katoomba and when I was about five my parents moved to Western Australia and since I was five I grew up down in Leginot which is about two hours south of Perth. Um, I grew up with my two sisters, so one older, one younger, um, in the middle, middle child, but yeah, we're a really close-knit family and yeah, just I loved my growing up years. Good, yeah. great. And um, how did you get into serious netball? I started playing netball originally just with a group of friends, you know, in school, just playing around, throwing the ball around, had so much fun and I was good at it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just kept on getting picked up by different talent scouts and uh, was asked to play for a couple of representative sides and eventually that led me to the Australian Institute of Sport where my netball career really kicked off. Yes, and um, can you tell me a couple of your mentors, people that have helped you in your career? Yeah, well, while I was at the Australian Institute of Sport, I had a fair bit of contact with Norma Plummer, who is the Australian national netball coach at the moment. So I did a fair bit of training with her, and yeah, it was a really valuable experience. Yes, good. And um, where has your netball um, career taken yeah. you? Well, as I said earlier, I, when I finished school, I went over to the Australian Institute of Sport for three years. So I lived there on campus and um, did a lot of training there. And then when I finished there, I moved back here to Western Australia and I've been playing for the West Australian side ever since, the West Coast Fever. And so we travel a lot. We play in Australia and in New Zealand. And I've also represented Australia. So I went to the Melbourne Commonwealth Games in 2006. <laughs> that was excellent experience and I've been... You know, to England, to Jamaica, to New Zealand, just playing netball with Australia and absolutely loving every minute of it. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Now, how would you describe being a follower of Jesus and is there a support group of young Christians for you? Yeah. Being a follower of Jesus, I'd say it as if, you know, you've just got God on your side, you know, like wherever you go, whatever you do, you know, you know, God, he's He's your dad, he's your best friend, you know, he's your best mate, you know, whatever you do, you know, you've got the biggest guy out there and he loves you and he's with you. So that's what I see as following God is every day, just having, you know, that person there to help you through everything. At our church at Victory Life Centre, we have a young adults group and, you know, just vibrant Christians, you know, love Jesus and yeah, it's great to hang out with them and I live with my two sisters at the moment as well and they're Christians oh, as well. Oh, so, they've come, yeah. over, <laughs> they great they come over from the east? Oh no, from down south in the oh, original. Okay. So yeah, we all live together. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And um, what wisdom do your faith mentors impart and what insights might you offer to young people like yourself who are following Christ. Yeah, my faith mentors would definitely have to be my mum and dad, my parents. They are amazing people. They are just beautiful Christians. They love Jesus and they've just decided in every area of their life that they're just going to put God first and put the word of God first and, you know, live for God in every way. And I, I've i gained so much inspiration from them and I know they inspire me just in my own walk with Jesus and I know whenever I go to them and ask them for inspiration or ask them, you know, as my mentors, you know, they always turn me back to the Word of God. And I think that's the one thing that I could impart to someone who is in the same situation as myself is to go and see what God says about things, you know what I mean? And when you find that in the Word, it's like, I know, you find that person, it just comes alive to you. And you know that no matter what happens, you know, no matter what's happening for me, you know, on the court or off the court or whether I'm at uni or at work, no matter what happens, I know God has said this to me and so nothing else matters. You know, he said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He said, you know, I'm the head and not the tail above I, not only and not beneath. You know, that you know, he who has begun a good work in me will complete it till the day of Jesus Christ. So I know, once that comes alive to you, it's like nothing can stop you. Yeah. Thank you, Susan Furman. That's a wonderful <laughs> testimony. It's lovely to hear a young person following Jesus and doing so well in their sport. No worries. Great to talk to you. And um, This is Delma Johnson from the Australian Missionary News.